Now, if you're wondering where I am at the moment, I'm in one of Australia's very best Australian native gardens. Look at this plant. This is a dwarf form of Banksia ericifolia. Easy to grow. Look at the amount of flower, tracks, native birds, all that sort of stuff. Here, a prostrate Banksia. This is a prostrate form of the coastal Banksia, Banksia integrifolia. Here, a lovely thing. It's one of the gum tree relatives, Nangophora. And you probably can't work out where it's coming from because it's sort of set down a bit. Well, the answer for that is going to be difficult for you to comprehend glorious native garden, beautiful native plants. But I'm standing on the roof of a house, a house sensitively nestled into natural bushland and then with the native plants created on the roof. I can't even believe it's standing here that under my feet is a lounge room and bedrooms and all the rest of it. The tree, of course, is coming up out of a courtyard cut into the middle of the house. And I think this may well be the house of the future. I think many Australians in the years ahead will choose to live in a way like this. It's not just sensitive and lovely and relaxing and all the rest of it, but below my feet is a very, very livable home. But now back to the roof. In a few weeks time, this is gonna be a real blaze of color. Obviously they've got kangaroo paws here, the little yellow buttons, which is one of the best of all of the native ground covers. Hardened birdia spilling over that zone. And I just love it as I go past this glorious angophora coming up out of this wonderful area with all the rooms of the house there. It really is a beautiful look. And some of you might think, oh, that doesn't look too good there. It, it, it's all a bit messed up, yeah. Messed up because they've got lyre birds that even come up here on the roof of the house to scratch around to get some insects. In fact, they are visible there. They're hovering around just over the rocks in the background there. Imagine having lyrebirds, the world's greatest impersonator, probably better than Sammy Davis Jr. Fantastic impersonators. Then we go on to things like flannel flowers. You can't get much more Aussie than that. This is a dwarf Banksia, Banksia serrata dwarf. One of the great ones that perhaps is not in enough gardens is this one. This is your Cootamundra wattle, probably Australia's most popular wattle, but it's a ground covering form of it. Silver leaves, golden flowers coming on now. Wonderful, wonderful plant. There's some of the little blue Australian native daisies here, brachycombs. Wherever you look, there's another little treasure here. And as I keep saying, because it, it beggars my belief too, I'm on the roof. And, and there's little portholes here that go down and up into bedrooms and all the rest of it. It, it just is impossible to believe it. But think of this sort of challenge. If you're building a new home, what about something like this? I'm sure, Deirdre, there's people already at home saying, well, I couldn't live in a house like that. It would be dank, damp, dark and horrible. What's it actually like to live in a house like this? It's wonderful, I really love it. So do all of your rooms, for instance, have windows or some sort of access to light? Yes, um, every room has a door to outside except for the pantry and one ensuite bathroom. I think the concept of living in a cave in the Australian bush is, is a feeling I wanted to get um, and the feeling of interacting with plants and the, and and the animals. Um, Ivor, is, is he a caveman? He's pretty much a caveman, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've trained him, haven't I? <laughs> now, straight up there, there's grevilleas, banksias, halachrysums, everything. Do you get water leaking through? Never have. Nothing? Nothing in 20 years. We've never had a leak. Any dampness? No, no dampness. We got it right the first time. And just to point that out, you did this 20 years ago and it was obviously an interesting process, but these days they've had a lot more experience, so hopefully today it would be easier and better than 20 years ago. I would think so, yes. So basically concrete pillars, concrete roof, mud bricks for the incidental walls. Very adventurous. Well, well done. I mean, I suspect there'll be a lot of people looking at this right now 
that are perhaps thinking of building a house, and there'll be a significant number of them. This will give them a lot of confidence, I think, to try something like this. Yes, I, I, it, it does take confidence, and um, but the joy of, of having done something yourself, sure, there was a lot of pain, but the joy of having done something yourself is great. Oh, and, and liar birds on the roof. Liar birds and wallabies on the roof. Well done, it's a very good effort.